Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, kaboom! And it's time for an as we go along. I got Amy, my flip camera, Amy. Yeah, things get names in my life. I like to name things. So anyway, I'm here with Sada. Hi. Oh, hello. I did that wrong. Hold on. Didn't you name your Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Sean here, and it is time for another walk around the day with uh, flip camera Amy, low definition. Uh, right now, Sarah and I are organizing this giant Necrons army, which we're going to refurbish. So look at this. Oh! Now, if you're interested in pre-commissioning this army, it's 8,000 points. I'll make you a great deal on it. And uh, so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do it up. Play with it at Valhalla. Oh, also, we got on, uh, we got a bunch of MDF terrain from Brush for Hire uh, yesterday. So we're going to start in on that. I got the Dunn Brothers making the Valhalla terrain. Still not too late to get out here, guys. Get an event pass. Contact Shannon and uh, get out to Valhalla because it is going to be epic proportions. Mm. Oh, and epic portions on your plate. So, um, <laughs> that wasn't. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet to have courtesy laughed at that. No, it was. Was it really? You thought it was, that was good? It was cute. It was clever. So, what are we listening to this morning? What's going on? Uh, well, how did I describe it? I described it as like Southern California reggae. reggae rap. Yeah, something like that. Like Sublime, Dirty Head, Slightly Stupid, stuff like that. Oh, okay, great. All bands I have never heard of. <laughs> You've never heard of Sublime? No. That's the first time that name has crossed my consciousness. It's a very well-known yeah, band. There you go. All right. So, um, yeah, the guys were here till like two. Anna, how late were you guys here last night? I was here until 1.30 and they stayed until like 5. You were here till 1.30? Yeah. That's amazing. So uh, they're working on this giant Chaos Dwarfs army. I'm going to do some, some close-ups on that. I mean, guys, this is some absolutely amazing stuff. We're very excited about it. And, uh, yeah, but I'll show you some finished product and, uh, you know, keep you posted. And what do you have to say, miss? Hello. Have a good day. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. I think we're done here. Nothing, nothing's going to make this better than that. Willow, you're going to go with Sarah to go get the paint. Yay! Yeah, that's the best, isn't it? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the, I think I'm going with the red. Or whatever, I get to choose. And then you get to pick one, and we'll try both of those, yeah. okay? But it needs to be warm and kind of mid-tone to dark-ish, okay. but not too dark. Something like that. Okay. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, and then now, uh, okay, what else? Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, Julie. Hey. Ah. I'm here wearing uh, orange and everything. That's right. The shirt is very orange. So, uh, Julie just finished some Lord of the Rings, old school. Yeah. That was really old school old. stuff, huh? Like, couldn't even find any reference pictures yeah. on the internet. <laughs> it's like, uh, like pewter yeah. figures. So, Lord <laughs> of the Rings back when there was no movies. For right. The Rings, right. Right. Yeah. So, there you go. Willow's got gum. Show us your gum. Yay. <laughs> so, anyway, so, uh, that's it. You're off the hook. All right. So, we're here with Roberto. Yeah. And he's all dirty because making movement trays. That's right. <laughs> he was cutting the bases for the movement trays, Lots of uh, which we make here. We're very exacting with our movement trays. So like all the imperfect ones are not, they're no good. Julie just came and picked them up. So uh, we're excited for that. BTB move trays are the best. They're magnetized, thin, black, and like they're like hard wafers. And uh, you put metal plates on the bottoms of your guys and voila. It's a great system, absolutely best system for magnetizing your uh, models for miniatures, battles, games, of whatever type they happen to be. All right, so uh, listen, got this kind of organized now, right? So, and I'm showing you, this is diamond in the rough, guys. This is like, this is not the best condition, but it's pretty good. And uh, we're going to change this into a giant finished product. Do you want to show you? We've got over 100 Necron Warriors here, uh, 12 Canoptic Wraiths. We've got three Annihilation Barges up top, three on another bin downstairs, almost every named character known to man, a ton of Immortals and Death Marks and stuff, uh, tons of vehicles, obviously. Uh, the only thing missing here is some Night Sides, 
I'm actually going to add two more to start. And uh, we've got this bomber thing, which I love. What a great shape. It's like a trilobite, almost. So anyway, how's it going downstairs, Mike? Good. Put the other test color down. Yeah, and? Is it it's horrible? It's really dark. It's I don't really think dark. It's, bad. it's just really dark. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go with that one. <laughs> I like the idea of the dark red. Yeah. Ooh, should we different. go take a look? Now, this won't translate well through the, uh, through the thing. Uh, by the way, I've got a bat rep with Ren 1 tomorrow. And uh, we're going to do some 40K. Um, you know, all right, here we go. Okay, so here's our swatches. So this is the original one. And it's, uh, Ro it's not Hawksmoor blue, it's Roosevelt blue. So, guys, this just looked like a little too naval ship decky for me. And then, so we got this dark red, but it actually looks a little too pink, if you ask me, once the light is on it and it's all dried out. So, ugh, no good for that. Then this color, it's uh, like a hunter green, like a blackish green. And so I'm just not quite satisfied here. Do you like this one best? Yep. Do you want some juice? Uh, yeah, I okay. need you help. Got All right, just brought in kneaders for my champions. Oh, yeah, Arr, you deserve this. Up till late every night, making it happen. Oh, I also got your fruit cups. Yeah. Like on top of that. Boom, what up? Yeah. Pass that on down to the mix. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and Miss, here's your soup. It's called overloaded potato soup. So, blam. I might be careful with that. And your straw and spoon. All right, folks, that's your follow around for the day. Ah, I could have got so much more on there. But uh, also note, we have a 10,000 point Tyranid army coming in. You can buy it at an awesome, amazing price. Uh, before it gets here, once I, you know, do the whole spiel on it, then uh, obviously it's a different game. And also, if you pick it up in the next uh, day or two, you also get this painted up to match. It's Fungus Nids, and it's got, it also includes a Hierophant, which is the largest Tyranid model that Forge World makes. So, off we go.